Hi YouTube. I hope you're doing good. I'm having a not too bad of a day. Uh, I wonder why the Dark Cabal made tomorrow Mother's Day in the United States. I, you know, just been thinking about that today and what they really think of it, what it should have been named in their minds and souls is Motherfucker's Day um, or F Mother's Day or F the Mother Day. Um, their, their biggest thing with all their gender confusion and everything is just to separate the male and female spirit from ever, shh, shh, don't let them know that their souls are supposed to recognize and come together. Shh, we'll have control over, Satan will help us if the truth is never known that there's a mom and dad in the whole situation and the Trinity is a family, shh, don't speak, you know, anyway, cheers everybody, that's what, really what's going on, you know, it was probably her birthday tomorrow instead of Mother's Day, wouldn't doubt it, um, historically or chronologically or what the truth will come out I know in my heart that God will provide evidence for the our history and it it'll be revealed that's revelation and yeah it's gonna burn you're gonna burn to the dark ball <laughs> you know yeah, it's burning their asses that people like you and I won't shut up. You know, boy, they want us to, too. And I know ahead of time when people are going to try and throw a wrench in my gears and why they're doing that and who they serve while they're doing that. It, they'll never succeed, by the way. I mean, I've been off here... Um, uh, or incapacitated, you know, like with broken bones or, you know, if I was really sick, I'd still get on here. I've got some videos where I couldn't even hardly talk, like um, some of my first ones on Facebook. Um, I had had a stroke, but I was still get typing and getting things. I mean, it was hard. Some days it would take me like... Uh, an hour to produce a paragraph, you know, um, but just fighting through it. And just like today, I did not feel like exercising, and then I started, and I felt better when I did. I always do, you know, and I've been back on track for over three years now, which is maybe even longer. Uh, Dr. Sean Baker had a 30-day, 30 30-push-up 30 challenge that I took him on. <laughs> you know, it's like, yeah, even though I was really sick in my life, it's like I'm trying to build up my arm after broken bones and stuff in my shoulder and my arm. And um, even after, through all that, and I'm doing push-ups again, so, yay, <laughs> you know, anyway, I do feel better, not just working on my arms, but everything, you know, you got to keep limber when you, I mean, I can still run and jump, and people should be able to, now, last year, I have a snowboard, and last year, I was not into doing that, and I did get some boots I needed to wear for that. Um, but I just, I wasn't strong enough. But this year is a different, 
different thing. I mean, I'm not going down a mountain on it, but we have small, smaller hills around here. We have one that's pretty steep, and I used to do that. I'm probably not going to be doing that. I mean, it's like a 90 degree angle and you go flying off it, you know. I don't really want to fly. If I had skis, I'd consider it. That's a whole different story, you know. But, yeah. Anyway, if you know anything about snowboarding, I go goofy footed on it. Um, you can go you can switch them up where both your feet are like going sideways or you can have one ahead and one sideways behind. That's what I do. So I'm like going ahead like skiing like an Egyptian. <laughs> no. it's, it, I find my balance better that way. So, But yeah, I was just thinking about... Um, a lot of women, women, I'm just going to say it like it is, aren't really good moms and don't deserve a decent Mother's Day. Some do, but a lot of them are lacking in ways where, yeah, honor your mom for putting you on this planet. But this world has been messed up for a very long time. And to find anybody worth their salt is really a hard chore. You know, same with fathers, you know. I'm just saying it, you know. You'll meet some really great people, but, you know, who are they, <laughs> you know? Really, you know. They say appearances can be deceiving. Then why... Am I not deceived? <laughs> Why, when I get a feeling about somebody, it's always a true feeling. My instincts are spot on. Really. So, I'll go with that, you know. It's like, yeah. No, appearances can't be deceiving. Words can deceive if uh, we're stupid enough to listen to the words, you know, or if we're just giving people chances, which is um, in some extremes, I know situations like that, you know. So. Really all people have to do is have enough remorse about the stupid things we do in life and work on not doing them and ask for God's help on not doing them. And believe me, if you really want not to do something stupid, he's going to give you that help in your heart not to do it. Then it's over and it's not a big deal. If Satan had us down at any part, um, God helps us back up no matter what, you know. But first you have to have God in your heart. That's the key, you know. It isn't all you need is love. That's some bullshit right there. That you can love and still be a dumbass, you know. It's not like... Uh, and uh, love is the whole of the law. We're not Anthony LeBay here um, spreading do or do what thy will shall be the whole of the law, you know. But it's using discretion. And still, like I say, forgiving people through their stupidity. Go for it, you know. I don't force my will on anybody. If somebody's being stupid, I will note to them that they're being stupid and move on. And it isn't a judgmental thing. It's a life experience thing that a friend would tell another friend, maybe even to wake them up out of something that they're not recognizing. You know, when we love people... 
we don't lie to them. We tell them the truth. You know. So. Anyway. Yeah, no matter what, I get down to the bottom of things. Um, and I don't leave any stone unturned, <laughs> you know. I was thinking something else at the same time there anyway. So. so, yes, basically, um, I'm going to say it like for all you believe that believe that every word in the scriptures is nothing but straight truth. Um, the first human beings did not sin. Uh, it was an evil entity that wasn't even human that has put people under that yoke of belief and degradation and disdain towards each other concerning the sexes that caused a rift in human beings that didn't need to be there, and it has festered for hundreds, hundreds of years, you know? So anyway. So yeah, it's Mother Effers Day, and, and going back to the Dark Ball in their incestuous ways, um, keeping it through the bloodline of the mothers, that carry that DNA. Yeah. Just hiding in plain sight is all they always do, you know. One way or another. So, it is really nice here. It's 71 degrees. <laughs> it's, you know, pretty warm. Almost like a summer day, getting there, <laughs> you know. Doug made round kitty windows, four of them. Well, two of them for the cats, and then um, different levels that we can see out of this big wood door that he made on the porch. But, yeah. They're okay. They let light in. We're going to have a bigger window in it, too. It's just, I don't know. <laughs> he did have just the holes yesterday without the round glass in there. And we had two outside kitties come in and get stuck in there. One was small. She got in probably first and another one. He followed her in, and then they both freaked out and got scared because they're wild cats. I mean, I feed them, but they still get crazy. So, now last week I went out in. I um, I made him a kitty house with um, little hutches and different um, houses for them in there to sleep in beds, you know, stuff, and. I went out there, and there was, like, I saw four, three little white ones with the gray dot on their head, which is kind of common around here. But I saw a most beautiful little fuzzy rust-colored orange one. It was really pretty. I haven't seen an orange kitty around here for a long time, so it was a surprise. I have a feeling there is more lurking out there. I don't know. I'll have to see. <laughs> I got to pet one of the white ones. It was pretty nice. It had blue eyes, real pretty little. I don't know if it'll stay blue. Some of them around here have uh, gold and green and blue eyes. So, yeah. Or yellow. Anyway, yeah, cute little things. Look to be about six weeks old, so, yeah. 
So anyway, they're hiding the sacred female, calling the Holy Spirit um, Christ, and Christ did not wasn't born with the Holy Spirit. Uh, it wasn't with him from the start. Um, John baptized him, and the Holy Spirit came into him. The female was born with the Holy Spirit from God, so we can nurture our children. And man has to work at that. And that's why a woman helps him so he can have his free will and lead his family without God actually telling him what to do. Just um, that's what free will is. You know, women really, if you're a decent woman, you don't, you don't feel that free and you don't really feel the need to feel that free unless you're kind of twisted and have some really bad emotionally retarded problems. And another emotionally retarded problem is the dark cabal screwing their own relatives. I just had to say it. I've seen, I haven't seen it with my own eyes, but I've been too close to the incestuous nature of these freaks. You know, oh, you can, one, two, three, we'll say it together. One, two, three. You, <laughs> you know. It's not only lack of self-control, that's lack of humanity. Oops, I dumped something on the ground. Just a minute. Okay, maybe not. I'll leave it till later. I have to get down and crawl around. I dropped a bottle and it went rolling underneath some oh, well, of a chair. So, yeah, I have a bottle of, I didn't put it away yet, um, cough medicine. Still was feeling it a few days ago. I took one. I haven't had to. I mean, my allergies were really bad. And then I think I got some kind of virus along with that while um, my allergies from springtime, you know, and different Wow. But it's getting pretty around here. The trees, the leaves are coming out and the flowers are blooming. And I did give my camera to Doug. It's brand new. I used it one time and he couldn't get it to work. So he got a, I think it's a Canon and I'll be looking for another one. And I had given my GoPro because I didn't like the little buttons. I liked the camera. I just, it's just too tiny. I have a stigma in my eye from having a piece of metal in there. And I've actually had my eyes almost gouged out. But um, from behind one time, that that's still, those injuries are in my eyes, you know. But anyway, so I have these moments um, where it's harder to see, not because of like any fine print or anything. Well, that kind of, yeah, with age, that does get a little worse, but it's not really kind of that. It's sort of adjusting it in the right spot so I can see it, you know, then I can read the fine print, but yeah. I had cor corrective lenses for my eyes, and I did correct them and passed my driver driving test without glasses. So I had gotten snow blinded and almost had my eyes poked out when I was 15. And yeah, there are injuries. And then I think I was about probably 40 or 41 when I got metal in my eye. Well, that was wicked. I was working at a, a metal fabrication place on a drill press. So, anyway, <laughs> yeah, I've worn, worn 
many hats, but some things I just do really well. So better than others. You know, we all have our things we're good at. I think I am really good at telling off the dark cabal. I think I do that better than anybody, and I bet they think I do too. Don't you? Yeah, I know you do. Because <laughs> I... The minute I drew my first breath, I knew I wasn't really actually supposed to belong here. You know, I just knew it. It was not that I was an alien, it's just that everybody else was. <laughs> so, and God said, Just keep holding my hand, it'll be okay. You know, yeah, as he's dragging you through the mud, you're going to be okay, kid, just hang on, you know. Yeah, I think some of us had moms like that, too. <laughs> probably more than more than uh, the world probably likes to admit. How motherly are mothers, <laughs> you know? Or, yeah. So I swear to you that they're trying to keep the spirit of God through the woman from everybody. That's what it's all about. And not letting men and women have relationships on this planet. And by not honoring that relationship with God. They're um, sullying and dirtying the whole thing with their actions and their world ways and all of it. You know? Be like this, if Doug was the father, and just say I was Christ, and somebody came to the door, and I told him nobody gets to the father except through me. Well, if they didn't know I was there, how could they get to him? If that's their belief, and that's the route they're taking, they're left talking to Satan. They're not actually talking to the Father directly like Christ instructs us to. Christ is there as a go-between, yeah, but we're actually supposed to seek the face of the Father, you know? And talk to him one-on-one. -on -one. If we can't talk to him one-on-one, -on -one, Christ will intervene. How can Christ intervene if the spirit that they're trying to talk to is kept silent and can't communicate with the whole world because they're communicating with a, a man and woman team, Satanistic, that's keeping that from you instead of reaching the female and male Godhead of what the Almighty is. That spirit that God gave to woman, how can you talk to God as a part of his family when you're leaving a part of his family out? You know, that's why people are distant. They don't have the full... There's only one entity and his female, and that's Satan and his queen of the damned that know the whole story, and they're keeping it from everybody. They built their kingdom like God has his 
a male and a female, and they work together. That's why you'll see, like the Baphomet, it is not a physical thing. Now, with this gender confusion, they want you to believe it's a physical thing, like two in one, like that, resembling both um genders within that is not it's within the mind it's spiritual the same as god you know a father and a mother and yes the the father is the almighty our father is the almighty not satan he is for them and if they're damned and they want to be damned he owns them. That's who they are. We have to remember to, to when people are acting out of sorts that, that are not um, something you'd want your family around, we have to know that uh, they, they're showing us who they serve by their actions. No matter what they say, you know. That was a hard one for me to learn because I always, always would hope people would get better, you know. But, um, maybe some century, you know, but not in this lifetime. I don't see it, <laughs> you know, it doesn't seem, to, I don't know, doesn't seem to be getting any better, any of this, even with their, whether it's fake auroras or, or not, all the things going on in the sky, and um, now, I can't prove there was two two different posts from Minnesota that showed Aurora Borealis last night. I live out in the country with very little light pollution, and I did not see that. Um, could have been. Could have been. But I think quite a few things are fabricated. Um, I don't know. I really don't know. Couldn't tell you for true, but I'm just saying what I think. I think that um, even like through photos and different um, uh, YouTube channels and what, and their Project Blue Beam or just photography, you know, I think different things are fabricated like that because I didn't see it here. They say it was here, but I did not see it. So I have windows all over my house. I have a huge one in my room right here. I would have seen the sky moving around if it had been. I've been out in the Aurora before. It was freaking incredible in my backyard. One of the most colorful ones was in... Uh, I think about 1992 or 3, somewhere around in there, maybe 91. It was so cool. Pink and red, blue, green, yellow, white. I mean, like it was just everything. Like tornadoes of color, and I was standing in it. And fuchsia and magenta and all colors. It was so beautiful. I had never seen it that colorful. I mean, I've seen the sky all green or all purple. That's like um, like Prince's song, Purple Rain. I've I've grew up with the purple skies like that. When we have our because of all the lakes and all the water, when we have our rainy season. It has a tendency to be purple. Not just the purple rain of the so-called pretenders, but yeah, that's um, how that song became famous, paying homage to Satan, but yeah. Anyway.
He gave me a ride home on his motorcycle one time when we were kids. Long time ago. <laughs> what a runt, <laughs> you know. Then I seen him again when I was about 17. He wasn't popular then. It was just... Yeah. <laughs> when First Avenue wasn't popular, you know. But anyway, I preferred a place across the street anyway. It was a lot more fun, but yeah. It was called Goofy's. Well, it was Goofy. 17, 18, yeah, it was Goofy. Kids are supposed to be Goofy. Adults aren't, you know. So I just thought I'd tell you that it's actually F the Mother's Day. Or Mother Effer's Day. Because it is the woman that, um, if they can befuddle the male mind not to see uh, the Spirit of God, it'd be like uh, a man not recognizing recognizing his own wife or shunning her and going after strange flesh. No, <laughs> yeah, I thought I'd throw that in there. That one was for Stephen Ben Denoon. He doesn't know the difference between sodomy and um, the, uh, what is it called, the missionary position. <laughs> So, okay, everybody, I'll probably be back tomorrow. Um, have a really good night or day wherever you're at. And to the moms out there, happy Mother's Day, ladies. I love you. Thank you for being here. Peace, everybody. <laughs>